reason we initially we purchased Lincoln um, was we visited um, Sydney to actually look at a, a different brand of, of robot and, and welding power source. We visited with those guys and then we knew we knew a little bit about Lincoln and we knew that they were great at welding. We didn't we didn't know much at all about um, about their robotics, Orphanic Robots, the, the, the company that Lincoln is associated with, but we were given a, a, a tour um, through the, the factory at Padstow, and we were given a, a, a look at a, a, a robot cell, welding cell that they were building at, the, at that time, and we were pretty impressed. Um, and then we were given a demonstration of one of the power sources, which I never had anything to do with before, hadn't even heard of a Lincoln power wave, and that really impressed me. And the thing that, that, that probably convinced us, um, it wasn't a price driven issue, but did convince us to go Lincoln's way was that it was a one-stop shop. Lincoln was, was, was giving the support on the robot welding arm and they were also giving support with the power source so there wasn't one to blame the other. It wasn't as if you had an XY brand robot and an XY branding welder and you had a problem. Um, an advantage for us in support is that we deal direct with Lincoln and that's how it is done in automation where our contacts in, in, um, in Sydney um, Mitchell Binner and Paul, um, you know, they answer their phone on weekends um, because we don't, you know, we often work seven days a week uh, and they do, they answer their phone. If you send them a text message on Sunday, you'll get a reply um, and you'll get support. It might be a five minute fix, you may not be able to fix the unit until next week, you may need part support, but um, yeah, the support is excellent. Really is. The reason we've invested in, 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 in automation, not only in robotics but particularly robotics, is you know the lack of skilled um, people that exist in Australia, particularly in fabrication. It is a skilled area, and and we also do repetitive parts. Um, we, we require quality and we require consistency in the parts that we, that, that, that we make, and robotics drives that. In um, that we can use you know a percentage of unskilled labour that we can train our way to load the robots and operate the machines and do, 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 do a great job. Um, but, you know, the alternatives are employing, you know, lots of, of manual welders um, to do, uh, in some cases, boring jobs. That it's hard for those guys to stick at those particular jobs and you don't get the consistent parts. Um, we use our skilled guys to do more than one offs. Um, the more custom, the more uh, parts that, that, you know, that. That, that, that need um, you know, extra skills, uh, and that's more interesting, you know, for the for the for the for the tradesperson then, rather than just learning you know fifty or a hundred or a thousand of one particular part. Where a production type worker is happy to do that. Um, I suppose when we start, when we purchased the first robot, um, his rapid arc didn't exist at that time. Um, and we were using most impulse because that's what I knew and, and the spatter levels were good, penetration was good, depositation rates were, were we, yeah, they were okay but they were probably similar to just normal spray transfer modes um, because most of the, the welding that we do, we do a small amount of stainless but most of it is just mild steel um, so we are just using like S6 type wires is uh, when Rapid Art came on the market we first of all tried it on some of our power wave manual machines which are also the, the unit we use on the robots as well and we found that conservatively deposition rates were probably you know 50 50 percent increase uh, to what we were doing but the big difference was the spatter is is where you know clean up on a particular part may have been you know welding time for instance may have been two days and clean up might have been half a day and most of the clean up was wasn't well quality it was spatter um, that you would achieve, you know, we use spatter guard, we do a lot of different things to control spatter, but rapid arc was, um, you know, it was, it was a tenth of the time. It was, you know, you do a weld in constant, constant voltage or pulse and, and have 50 spatter balls to get rid of over a big area and, and you have two with rapid arc. It was a big difference. Weld Pro has become more critical to us um, because of the offline programmability, but also that we now share robot programs between machines. So if we have a program written on, say, Robot 3, um, that's the same configuration welding cell as Robot 5, well, we can then save that program on the stick, bring it up on the server, 
and then bring that program into World Pro, and then shift it to Red to, to, to Red Bull Five, and move the um, whole World Program or the jig into a new position um, without shutting Red Bull Five down, and then shift it downstairs. You may have to do some minimal touch-ups on the on, on the part, but it's really allowed us to uh, be much more efficient. Where we can, if we've got a part, you know, part number one hundred, for instance. It can be welded now on robot three, four, and five without it having to be programmed by the operator on the, on the shop floor. It can be done offline. And as well as writing new programs as well. You can, you can write new programs and you can do it offline. So, you know, robot's an expensive thing. You don't really want it to be offline for any length of time on the shop floor. So, if you can program offline, um, it's a big advantage. For our particular components is efficiency, um, obviously the skill shortage, the number of tradespeople that we would need to weld the numbers of components and we do thousands of parts now um, for, 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 for both agriculture and transport um, in-house. Um, we all our own parts, um, the, the quality of what we do and repeatability, it really drives the best quality product for the end user um, and when you tell the customer that by the way, you know, every row unit on your machine or half your, your U tray is robotically welded. And a lot of these guys are savvy um, and they weld themselves, you know, they want to be back in our handy but they know a good weld when they see it. And, and when we go to a field day, they look at our products and they say, you know, your quality is fantastic, you know, the welds are just so consistent. And then you say, well, they're all done with a robot. And they go, oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's great.